The Ultimate Guide to Things to Do in China One of the world's most vast and ancient civilizations, China is not just one region, cuisine or culture. It's a giant and complex patchwork of cultural groups, histories, cuisines and languages. As you might expect, there's a lot to see. China's big hitting sites are no secret, and Chinese domestic tourists do a fine job of filling them up, particularly during national holidays such as the Spring Festival. But there are still untouched corners. While every traveler may want to tick walked on the Great Wall off their bucket list, this is a country where you can literally spend a lifetime and still never see it all. One of the joys of China is its diversity, and most visitors find a friendly and warm welcome almost anywhere they go. Exploring is made abundantly easier by China's vast high-speed rail network, the world's biggest. By all means, put the big hitters on your list, ascending the Great Wall is, indeed, spectacular, but try to explore China's lesser visited corners, too. Rather than a list of famous tourist sites, we've rounded up the top things to do in China as themes so you can explore China according to your own travel style and interests. Yi Lu Shanfeng. Have a great trip. Hike the Great Wall of China in Beijing The Great Wall is the most famous attraction in China as well as the symbol of China on the international stage. Your China tour is not completed without having a hike on the Great Wall. It costs only about a half day or a full day to hike the Great Wall. If you are a fan of the walls, you can have an in-depth Great Wall exploration to see both the restored walls and wild walls. As you may know that the Great Wall stretches from far western China to the east. The part in Beijing, Tianxing and Hebei province is the most highlighting part, including some of the most famous sections, Mushenyu Great Wall, Jinshatling Great Wall, Saimitai Great Wall, Jiangku Great Wall, Wangwakeng Great Wall, Badling Great Wall, etc. Mushenyu, less crowded and preserved well, is the most popular among foreign tourists, and can be visited in a half day. Jinshanling, Jiangku, Saimitai and Wangwakeng are more suitable for in-depth Great Wall hiking. Great Wall Hiking is usually covered in a classic Beijing city tour, Day 1 visit Tiananmen Square, Forbidden City and Summer Palace, Day 2 hike Mution Yu Great Wall or other sections of Great Wall near Beijing, Day 3 visit the Temple of Heaven and Hutong, and leave Beijing. Explore ancient imperial history and culture at Forbidden City and Temple of Heaven in Beijing China has an imperial history of over 2000 years during which Beijing was the capital city for three major dynasties, Yuan, 1271-1368, Ming, 1368-1644, and Qing, 1644-1912. Having preserved many palaces, temples and other sites of ancient imperial dynasties, the Forbidden City and Temple of Heaven in Beijing are two best places to explore the history and culture of ancient China imperial history. Forbidden City is a huge palace complex of more than 9,000 rooms where 24 emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties lived. Passing through various doorways in this magnificent structure, you will see the beautiful and well-preserved buildings decorated with yellow glazed tile roofs, white marble bases and splendid colorful paintings. It is also the most important museum in China where thousands of national treasures are preserved. The Temple of Heaven is one of the most brilliant ancient architectures in China. The UNESCO listed the Temple of Heaven in the World Heritage Sites list with description as a masterpiece of architecture and landscape design which simply and graphically illustrates a cosmogony of great importance for the evolution of one of the world's great civilizations. It used to serve as the holy place for emperors to pay homage to heaven and to pray for a year of rich harvest. Go to witness the underground wonder of terracotta warriors in Shen Visiting the terracotta warriors in Shen is one of the must to do in China. You will definitely be shocked by this eighth wonder of the world, also one of the greatest archaeological finds in 20th century in the world. 
more than 8,000 life-sized soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses were made under the command of Qin Shi Huang, 259-210 BC, the first imperial emperor of China, to protect him in his afterlife. These figures which were beautifully sculptured and paint, and had buried underground for more than 2,000 years until uncovered by a local farmer in 1974, form an ancient military army with complete battle units of infantry, cavalry, etc. Standing in front of these figures, one can't help being amazed not only by the ambition of Emperor Qin Shi Huang but also by the fabulous artistic skills of ancient Chinese artisans. Terracotta Warriors site is selected by Tripper advisor as the top 25 museums in the world, the only Asian museum on the list, also is listed as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. To visit the Terracotta Warriors, one can take a flight or bullet train from Beijing, Shen, Chengdu and other cities to Shen City first, then drive about 40 kilometers from the city to get to the site. Usually it takes about a half day to explore the Terracotta Warriors and nearby sites. Visit the Giant Panda and join in the memorable Giant Panda volunteering program in Chengdu. How could you make it to say no to the invitation from the Giant Panda? Don't you agree the Giant Panda is the most adorable creature in the world? You may also visit pandas in many counties, like US, Japan, UK, etc., but you will only see one or two pandas. While in Chengdu, you are lucky to see a lot of pandas in a green and large panda base, including beautiful adult pandas as well as the cutest panda babies, at a very close distance. The exact place is Chengdu Research Base of Giant Panda Breeding which is located outskirt of Chengdu City, about 12 kilometers to the city center. There are about 120 giant pandas living in the base. You are suggested to visit the panda base in the early morning when the pandas are more energetic and active. You may know the giant panda is an endangered animal species which needs efforts from all of us to protect them as well as their habitats. In Chengdu, you have chance to make your own contribution to help save the giant panda, joining in the panda volunteering program. It's a full day program, starting from 9am to around 4pm, cleaning panda enclosures, carrying bamboo, making cakes. There are a lot of jobs to do. Du Jiangyuan Panda Base, about 65 kilometers from Chengdu city downtown, is the best place to join the volunteering program. Enjoyed the surreal avatar world landscape in Tangjiaji National Park. Being impressed by the surreal landscape in the famous movie Avatar? Come to Sangjiaji to enjoy the real Avatar world. You really can't miss it in 2017 as this park was the most popular and magnificent attractions in the past two or three years. The park has become one of the most fascinating national parks in the world, beloved by tourists for its magnificent natural wonders of more than more than 3,100 tremendous tall pillars of quartzite sandstone reaching to the clouds to the idyllic streams flowing beneath to the lush wild forests. The main attractions in Sangjiaji National Park include Yellowstone Village, Huangshe Village, Golden Whip Stream, Yuanjiaji, Tianxishan, Yangjiaji, Yaozi Village and Pipa Stream and so on. A classic Sangjiaji highlights tour goes as below. Day 1, arrive and visit Huangshe Village and Golden Whip Stream. Day 2, visit Yuanjiaji and Tianzi Mountain. Day 3, visit Jianmen Mountain, about 23.2 km from Sangjiaji National Forest Park. To visit Sangjiaji National Park, one can take a flight to Sangjiaji City first from Shanghai, Beijing, Shen, Guilin, then drive about 35 km from the city to get to the park. Have a thrilling sky walking on the world's longest and highest glasses bridge since its opening on August 1, 2016, Sangjiaji Grand Canyon Glass Bridge has become one of the most popular attractions in 2016 and 2017. It is the world highest and longest glass bridge with the full length of 430 meters and a respectively height of about 400 meters above the valley bottom, and has won 10 world most prizes. CNN also listed Sangjiaji Glass Bridge as the 12 most spectacular bridges in the world by CNN. 
walking on the Tangjiaji glass bridge, you may feel stressful and frightened, but you can have the fabulous view of the silver streams and green valley under 400 meters. Besides, the azure sky as well as the milk white clouds reflecting on the glass will add more magic and mysterious feeling into your walk, making you confused about whether walking on the clouds or above the lush plants in Tangjiaji Grand Canyon. Since this awestruck but charming glass bridge is so hot and has been long expected by numerous people from home and abroad, the canyon officials stipulate that there are 8,000 people per day and 600 per time at most to visit the Zhangjiaji Glass Bridge. And if you want to have this new try in Zhangjiaji Grand Canyon, it is recommended to book the ticket earlier for at least 3 days. Only about 25 kilometers from Zhangjiaji National Park, you can visit the glass bridge with the National Park and Tianmen Mountain, which can be done in 3 full days. Check suggested itinerary as below, day 1, visit Zhangjiaji Grand Canyon and walk the glass bridge, then go to visit Yellow Dragon Cave. Day 2, visit Yuanjiaji and Tianzi Mountain, Day 3, visit Tianmen Mountain, about 23.2 km from Zhangjiaji National Forest Park. Cruise leisurely along the Li River to Yangshuo Town in Guilin. You may have seen many photos of the stunning cart landscape of Guilin on the internet or magazines. Now it's the time to set your feet on this land of caste. The beautiful Li River and Yangshuo Town are waiting for you. Imagine you are sailing a ship or a bamboo crafter along the picturesque Li River while dazzling green limestone cast mountains, fascinating farmlands, small villages, friendly buffaloes, boats of fishing men overwhelming into your eyes like a vast endless Chinese painting. This is the famous Li River Cruise, about 84 kilometers long, relaxing and scenic. After about 4 hours cruise, disembark in Yangshuo Town. Take a short break, immerse yourself into the stunning countryside views and relaxed atmosphere and be enthralled by the patches of paddy fields nestling under green hills and near the mirror-like river, with farmers cultivating the soil with their water buffaloes. In the evening, go to have a leisure walk leisurely on the ancient West Street to experience how the Western culture and Chinese culture perfectly and peacefully coexist here. Whether you want to enjoy a cup of drinking bar, taste some local food, or just experience the relaxing atmosphere, you get it here. Take a Yangtze River cruise of luxury 5-star ship to enjoy the majestic sceneries of Yangtze River and Three Gorges Dam. Yangtze River Cruise, the most famous and popular river cruise experience in China, is the most relaxing and enjoyable vacation in China to enjoy the beautiful sceneries along the majestic Yangtze River, and discover culture and history of the central part of China. The major cruise mainly locates between Chongqing and Itong. If you cruise from Chongqing to Itong, downstream, it will be a four days, three nights cruise. If you cruise from Itong to Chongqing, upstream, it will be a 5 days, 4 nights cruise. On the cruise, you will pass through the fabulous Three Gorges, witness the World Great Project, Three Gorges Dam, and have some free time for shore excursions. While on board the cruise, you will spend really leisure time on a luxury 5-star ship to release your body and mind, meeting people from different countries and regions, relaxing yourself on the ship, having fun with many interesting activities, tasting rich kinds of cuisines, and being good taken care of by the friendly crews and cruise managers, etc. For visitors who are going to have a long vacation in China to destinations, like Beijing, Shen, Shanghai, Tibet, Weilin. The Yangtze River Cruise provides an opportunity to release you from the tiring caused by the long journey. Board a train to the Holy Land Tibet via the world's highest railway, Qinghai Tibet Railway. It is reported that there are about 2,000 tourists who take trains to Tibet from different cities in China to go to Tibet, via the world's highest railway, Qinghai Tibet Railway. Why is it so popular to take a train to Tibet? because the Qinghai Tibet Railway is so extraordinary and beautiful. 
It is regarded as a world engineering miracle that has created nine magnificent world records, the highest railway, 5072 meters, highest railway station, 5072 meters, the longest platter railway 1976 kkm, longest rail bridge, 11.7 kilometers, longest plateau tunnel in permafrost, 1,686 meters, you can't imagine how much hardship the engineers and worker had overcome during the construction, such as widespread frozen earth, high altitude sickness, etc. The breathtaking plateau landscape along the railway is the best reward for your train ride, spectacular Tringhai Lake, vast Karen Salt Lake, mysterious Hosildi populated zone, Tibetan Antelope, Stunning Tangular Mountains, Blue Diamond, Sanag Lake, Plains dotted with yaks and herders tents. Currently there are many cities you can go to take a train to Tibet, including Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu, Guangzhou, Chongqing, Lanzhou, and Xining, Nanjing, Shen, Tian, etc. Have fun on the 19th Harbin Ice and Snow Festival Harbin Ice and Snow Festival is the biggest winter event in China. It is held annually in Harbin, the capital of Heilongjiang province in northeastern China. During Harbin Ice and Snow Festival, you can not only admire various ice sculpture, snow sculpture, ice lantern, wonderful performance, but also watch or take part in different kinds of ice or snow sports. The 35th Harbin Ice and Snow Festival will be held during late December of 2022, and last to later February of 2023. It's better to plan your trip in advance. There are three major sites for travelers to have fun during the festival. They are International Ice Sculpture at Ice and Snow World, International Snow Sculpture Art Fair on Sun Island, Ice Lantern Garden Party at Sail in Park. Among three sites, the International Ice Sculpture at Ice and Snow World is the biggest highlight. You can admire gorgeous ice and snow structures, savor the exquisite arts, enjoy the ice and snow performance and join interesting ice and snow activities. You can take flights to Harbin from Beijing, Shanghai, Shen, Kunming, Chengdu, etc. Beijing also operates six high-speed bullet trains to Harbin each day. During Harbin Ice and Snow Festival, the average temperature of Harbin is 18 C and it may fall to below 30 C at night, so wear more clothes and warm shoes to keep you from being freeze. Don coat, thick jacket, mouth muffle and gloves will also be helpful. Hike the most beautiful mountain in China, Yellow Mountain. Trips to China's Wuyu Mountains five greatest mountains, render trips to other mountains unnecessary and a trip to Huangshan renders the trips to Wuyu unnecessary, this is how a famous Chinese old saying goes. It is agreed by majority of travelers that Huangshan, the Yellow Mountain, is the most beautiful mountain in China. Quite different from the usual type of green and tall mountains or snow mountains you can see in Europe and America, Huangshan's beauty is the way of Chinese traditional style, like a Chinese painting, odd shaped pines, spectacular rocky peaks, sea of clouds, hot spring, and winter snow, which are the so-called five wonders of Yellow Mountain. Having such many incredible landscapes, Huangshan was listed as the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. So why not to put Huangshan on your list for 2022? Huangshan is located in the south of Anhui province, only about 3 hours bullet train ride from Shanghai, and 7-8 hours from Beijing by bullet train. There is also an airport near Huangshan, operating flights to Shanghai, Beijing, Chongqing, Guangzhou, Chengdu, etc. One has hiked on the stone paths from a peak to another because there is no vehicle road up to the mountain. As rewards for your hard hiking, incredible landscapes of peaks and pines can be enjoyed along the roads. For regular tourists who want a leisure way to explore Huangshan, they can take cable car up to the mountain for sightseeing, then take cable car down the mountain. Two days are needed. Hong Kong and Zaidi, regarded as two of most beautiful ancient villages in China, are recommended to be added into your trip if you can spare out an extra day. There are only about one hour's driving from Huangshan. 
explore the greatest art treasures house at Mogao Grottoes in Dunhuang it is said in China, the ancient relics are not only preserved in the museums, but also in grottoes, the paintings were not only paint on the papers, but also on the walls in the grottoes, the Buddhist culture is not only kept in the temples, but also in the grottoes. Thinking it is hard to believe? This is true and quite common in northwestern region of China, such as Gansu, Henan, Xinjiang, etc. Among all these grottoes, Mogao Grottoes is the famous famous one. It is known as the Louvre of East. Mogao Grottoes is outstanding for its exquisite mural paintings and statues. There are now 492 grottos in which about 45,000 square meters mural paintings and 2,100 colorfully painted statues from which you can trace the development of Chinese art over 1,600 years from one dynasty to the next because each dynasty built own caves to record its own features. More than 50,000 collections emerged from the discovery of the so-called library cave in 1900, and were dispersed around the world. So far, most of the its manuscripts and relics are collected by museums and libraries in Beijing, London, Paris, Paris, St. Petersburg and Japan. In 1987, the UNESCO listed the Mogao Caves as the World Heritage Sites. It declared, as evidence of the evolution of Buddhist art in the northwest region of China, the Mogao Caves are of unmatched historical value. These works provide an abundance of vivid materials depicting various aspects of medieval politics, economics, culture, arts, religion, ethnic relations, and daily dress in western China. Tips, 1. During peak seasons, May to October, there are usually a lot of visitors to Mogao Caves, so it is recommended to make a reservation in advance for at least 7 days. 2. If you want to see the special caves, excluded in the regular visit, and only open for limited individual visitors or small groups with reservations, you can contact our travel consultants or your tour guide to arrange for you, but you have to pay the separate admission fee for each cave. 3. It is not allowed to take photos inside grottos. Appreciates brilliant skills and arts of classical gardens in Suzhou The ancient Chinese people were maybe the best architecture engineers who created some of the most brilliant architectures, such as the Forbidden City, Temple of Heaven, Summer Palace, etc. Well, these architectures are more related to the emperor's palaces, towers, and temples. Well in Suzhou, you can see the masterpiece of civilians' architectures, Suzhou Classical Gardens. The Classical Gardens of Suzhou was listed in the World Cultural Heritage Sites by the UNESCO who declares that the gardens represent the development of Chinese landscape garden design over more than 2000 years, and they are the most refined form of garden art. Most of these gardens were constructed by scholars, and succeed in recreating natural landscape in miniature, to create all classic landscapes in the garden, including mountains, rivers, lakes, rocks, flowers, trees, etc. Only having the landscapes is not enough, the gardens have to be poetic, romantic, historical and cultural. So different halls, pavilions, pagodas were built in the garden with paintings, poems and couplets. In the classical gardens of Sujo, even the flowers, grasses, bricks and stones are telling the happiness, pity and sorrow in the long history. There are many classical gardens in Sujo. The most famous one include Humble Administrator's Garden, Archetype of Imperial Gardens, Lingering Garden, Poetic and Picturesque Garden, Tiger Hill, The First Sight in Sujo, Master of the Nets Garden, Perfect Garden in Pocket Size, Lion Grove Garden, Kingdom of Rockeries, etc. Got inspired by the classical gardens of Sujo, I.M. Pei, one of the world's greatest architects, designed Sujo Museum which is now a must-visit site in Sujo. Shoot the masterpiece of nature at Zaipu Mudflat in Xiamen Zaipu is a very small county in Fujian province in southeastern China. Less people know about this place. While for the shutterbugs, Zaipu is one of the top 10 best photography bases in China. For travelers who have visited this small place, they all recommend Zaipu as the most beautiful coastal line in China. What does it offer? 
Mud flats, spectacular mud flats formed by beach, sunrise, sunset, mists, mountains, fishing boats, local sea gypsies, laboring scenes, etc., create amazing sceneries of lights and shadows. To enjoy the features of Zaipu mud flat to the fullest, you are suggested to spend about 3-4 days at different villages to record different scenes, such as Zhouhao village, Weijiang village, Ondong island, Dongbi village, Huaju village, Bach Yan Yanjian village, Huao village, Beiki village, Yangjiaxi village. The driving distance are not very long between the villages. You can shoot two or three villages in a day. April to December is the best time to visit Zaipu Mud Flat. For the photographers, you can shoot the seeds of reaping kelp, fishing and other laboring activities on the mud flats and shores in April, May, and June. While from July to September, you can chase the changing of lights above and on the mud flats. The seashores are also clearer during this period of time. October to December is the season when the local farmers seed nori. November is the beautiful time when the maple trees in Yangjiaxi and Tailausen turn to golden and red. Useful tips 1. To catch the best views, you need to find a professional local guide who knows the best location and time to take photos. 2. Prepare a pair of comfortable shoes for you need to climb mountains to get more beautiful photos. Feast on China's Fabulous Food In Mandarin, a common greeting is Ni Chi Fan La Ma, dash meaning have you eaten, dash which says a lot about China's dedication to food. One of the greatest joys of traveling here is discovering the vast world of cuisine that lies beyond what you may have experienced in a Chinese restaurant abroad. There are eight major cuisines in China, and these are further divided up into countless local and regional styles of cooking, so you'll find something new to taste in every corner of the country. Typically, rice and stir-fried dishes are more common in southern China, where rice is cultivated, while buns, dumplings and noodles are the staples in the wheat growing north. Don't miss Zhao Longbao, or soup dumplings, a favorite breakfast food in Shanghai, and crispy Beijing roast duck. For delicate dim sum, go to Guangdong province. Try the halal, Central Asian influenced cooking in far northwest Gansu, or head to Sichuan or Hunan provinces for super spicy foods. Do subscribe Travel and Taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.